Welcome to the second video of the series on upgrading BAO from 7603 to BAO 7801. In the last video, we successfully installed a fresh instance of single sign-on. In this video, we'll start with the actual BAO upgrade process and we'll upgrade our BAO repository and CDP. Let's start. This is my BAO server package. Let's extract it. Go to the extracted folder and run the setup.cmd file. Click run. This is the welcome screen. Click OK. Wait for the installer to check the prerequisites. Click next. Accept the license agreement. As you can see, the installer has automatically detected that on this server, we have BAO installed and it has automatically selected the upgrade option. Click Next. Over here, provide the location of your existing BAO component that you want to upgrade. I'll be upgrading the repository, so I'll select the repository home folder. Click Next. On the screen, it's asking for the single sign-on host name. Provide the fully qualified domain name. This is the port on which SSO is running. Provide the SSO administrator password. As you can see, it has automatically picked up the repository host name and it has chosen fully qualified domain name. Click next button. At this point, it's asking that after the installation, do we want to start the repository service? We'll select yes. This is the installation summary of the choices we have made. Now click the install button to start with the repository upgrade process. The upgradation was successful. Click the done button and let's see if the repository service is now running. As you can see, we have the repository service up and running now. Now let's start with the CDP upgrade process. Let's go to the CDP server. This is my CDP server. And currently the CDP service is in stopped state. Let's start with the upgrade process. This is the server package. Let's extract it. Now let's go to the extracted directory and run the setup.cmd file. Click the OK button. At this point, the installer is initializing and validating the prerequisites. This is the welcome screen. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Here, the installer has again detected that we are performing an upgrade. Click Next. The installer has picked the existing CDP install directory. Click Next. At this point, it is asking for the repository host name. As you can see, it has automatically picked it up from the existing configuration files that our repository is installed on this machine. However, it has only picked up the host name. Since we are installing BAO781, we need to provide the fully qualified domain name. So let's append the domain. Provide the SSO admin password. And this is the FQDN of the CDP server. Now it's asking whether we want to start the CDP service after the installation is completed. We'll say yes. Now this is the installation summary. Click the install button and wait for the upgrade process to finish.
As you can see, the CDP is now successfully upgraded to BAO7801. Click the Done button. Now let's check the service. As you can see, the CDP service is in started state. Now, in the next video, we'll see how to upgrade the development studio to BAO7801 and how we can upgrade our content to the latest version that is 2015-03.